Hi viewers, welcome to JSM. In this video, I am going to explain classification of carbon atoms and classification of hydrogen atoms. So let us see how we can classify the carbon and hydrogen atoms. So let us see first classification. In the classification one, so we are classifying carbon atoms. So based on the mode of arrangement of carbon atoms. First classification based on mode of arrangement of arrangement of carbon atoms carbon atoms so based on this carbon atoms classified into four types so in the first one is primary carbon primary carbon that representing or not then secondary secondary carbon next one tertiary carbon tertiary carbon next third one quaternary carbon quaternary carbon quaternary carbon so how we can differentiate these four so let us see for example if you take a molecule okay to explain the primary carbon so what is primary carbon first the carbon which is bonded to only one other carbon the carbon which is bonded to only one other carbon is said to be primary carbon so let us take an example here for example uh, ch3 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 in this let us take this carbon so this carbon bonded to how many carbons only one carbon so that's why this carbon is said to be primary carbon here this carbon bonded to only one carbon that's why this carbon also said to be primary carbon that means what we can say here primary carbon means if a carbon bonded with only one other carbon then it is said to be primary carbon let us take example for secondary carbon the secondary carbon means if a carbon bonded to two other carbons said to be secondary carbon so for example so if you take ch3 ch2 ch3 say so this so if you take a middle carbon so this carbon bonded to two other carbons two other carbons that's why this carbon is said to be secondary carbon and what about this first carbon this carbon bonded to only one carbon that's why this is primary so this last carbon also this is also bonded to only one carbon that's why it is primary so what is secondary here if a carbon bonded to two other carbons said to be secondary carbon so let's take next one tertiary carbon so tertiary carbon means so if a carbon atom bonded to three other carbons said to be tertiary carbon so for example if you take ch3 c ch3 here hydrogen here ch3 so let us say here when you take this middle carbon this carbon bonded to so how many other carbons one two three okay this carbon bonded to other three carbons directly so that's why it is said to be tertiary carbon okay the carbon which is bonded to three other carbons one two three that's why this carbon is said to be tertiary carbon and what about this carbon this carbon is only bonded to this carbon directly bonded to this carbon that's why it is primary so this carbon also directly bonded to only one carbon that's why it is primary so this is also primary because this carbon bonded to only one carbon directly okay so let us take tertiary carbon so what is tertiary carbon so if a carbon atom bonded to four other carbons okay if a carbon atom bonded to four other carbons said to be tertiary carbon let us take one example 
CH3, C, CH3, CH3, CH3. So if you take the central carbon atom, this is a bonded to how many other carbons you see? This is the first carbon, the second, third, and fourth. Okay, if a carbon atom bonded to four other carbon atoms directly said to be quaternary carbon. Okay, quaternary carbon because it is bonded to four other carbons directly. Okay, primary carbon means if a carbon atom bonded to only one other carbon is said to be primary carbon. Secondary carbon means if a carbon atom bonded to two other carbon atoms said to be secondary carbon. So tertiary carbon means if a carbon atom bonded to three other carbons directly said to be tertiary carbon. Quaternary carbon means if a carbon bonded to four other carbon atoms directly said to be quaternary carbon. So let us see. So what type of hydrogens are present in these molecules? Okay. So when come to the types of hydrogens, if a hydrogen bonded to primary carbon said to be primary hydrogen, if a hydrogen atom bonded to secondary carbon said to be secondary hydrogen, if a hydrogen atom bonded to tertiary carbon said to be tertiary hydrogen, if a hydrogen atom bonded to quaternary carbon said to be quaternary hydrogen, is this possible? Quaternary hydrogen not possible. So because quaternary carbon so without hydrogen okay only up to the tertiary hydrogen is possible because of valency exceed if you keep hydrogen here valency exceeds that's why it is not possible carbon shows only four valencies that's why here quaternary hydrogen is not possible okay means here here we can say the hydrogens bonded to primary carbon said to be primary hydrogens the hydrogens which are bonded to primary primary hydrogen so here also okay the hydrogen atoms which are bonded to secondary carbon that's why these are said to be secondary hydrogens so these are primary hydrogens as we discussed here the hydrogen atom so which is bonded to tertiary carbon said to be tertiary hydrogen okay but quaternary hydrogen not possible what is the reason here because Okay, valency exceeded here. Okay, remember that. So let us see some examples. So let us see these examples, how to find out types of carbons. Here, in the first example, so this carbon bonded to only one carbon directly. That's why this carbon is said to be primary carbon. So because it is bonded to only one other carbon. So when come to here, so if you take the, this carbon, this carbon bonded to two other carbons, left side, right side, two carbons directly. So that's why this is said to be secondary carbon. Then this carbon bonded to three other carbons, one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, directly bonded to three carbon. That's why this is said to be tertiary carbon. So when come to here, okay, this carbon bonded to, this carbon bonded to four other carbons, one, Two, three, four. Okay, this carbon bonded to four other carbons directly. That's why this is said to be quaternary carbon. Okay, quaternary carbon. Okay, primary carbon, secondary carbon, tertiary carbon, quaternary carbon. So what about these remaining CH3 group carbons? This is primary because it is bonded to only one carbon. So this is also primary because this is bonded to only one carbon. So this is also primary because it is only bonded to one carbon. So this is also primary because it is also bonded to only one carbon. Okay, like that we can find out the primary, secondary, tertiary, quaternary carbons. Okay, now, and also we can find out hydrogen, types of hydrogens. The hydrogens which are bonded to primary carbon said to be primary hydrogen. The hydrogens which are bonded to secondary carbon said to be secondary hydrogen. The hydrogen, so which are bonded to tertiary carbon. Tertiary carbon said to be 
tertiary hydrogen but there is no quaternary hydrogen okay in this molecule let us see so here one carbon is there so it is bonded to one other carbon that's why it is said to be primary so when you take this carbon it is bonded to so it is directly bonded to how many carbons here one here two here three that's why it is said to be tertiary carbon okay when come to here so this carbon bonded to two other carbons okay here one carbon here one carbon so that's why it is said to be secondary then this carbon is bonded to only one carbon that is secondary carbon okay this carbon bonded to only one other carbon that's why it is said to be primary carbon so when come to here okay this carbon bonded to this carbon and uh, this carbon okay it is bonded to two other carbons that's why it is secondary so when come to here it is bonded to okay this carbon bonded to four other carbons one two three four this is one two three four this is bonded to four other carbons that's why it is said to be quaternary carbon okay then this is primary because it is bonded to one primary because it is bonded to one carbon this is also primary it is bonded to one carbon so in this case okay so come to here this is bonded to only one carbon that's why it is said to be primary this is also bonded to only one carbon that, that's why it is primary this is also bonded to only one carbon that's why primary so but when come to here this carbon atom bonded to four other one two three four that's why it is quaternary when come to here this carbon atom bonded to two other carbons one and two one and two that's why it is secondary so here also this carbon atom bonded to one and two okay this carbon atom bonded to two other carbons one and two that's why secondary so when come to here so this is also okay bonded to two carbons that's why it is also secondary one and two this carbon bonded to two carbons okay when come to here this carbon atom bonded to how many carbons here this is one this is two this is three this carbon with bonded to three other carbons that's why it is tertiary okay like this we can find out primary secondary tertiary quaternary carbons and primary secondary tertiary hydrogens okay so this is for your practice purpose let us see the second classification so that is based on the relative position of carbon atom with respect to functional group okay that means for example if you take so one molecule that is ch3 ch2 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 c double bond o h okay c double bond o h so here this is the functional group okay this is functional group so with respect to this functional group so what is the position of the remaining carbon atoms for example if you take this carbon the carbon which is directly bonded to the functional group carbon that is said to be the carbon which is directly bonded to the functional group is said to be alpha carbon the carbon which is directly bonded to alpha carbon said to be beta carbon the carbon which is directly bonded to beta carbon is said to be gamma carbon the carbon which is directly bonded to gamma carbon is said to be delta carbon so based on that we can also give names for hydrogen